Look at the chart title. It tells you what's being illustrated in the chart. In this case, global surface temperature anomalies. In other words, how global surface temperatures have changed over time. Look at the left hand side. That's the vertical axis. It shows the surface temperature anomaly in degrees Celsius. The anomaly is taken from the average surface temperature over the entire Earth, usually for a 30 year period. In this case, from 1951 to 1980. That's shown by the zero line across the middle of the chart. Above the zero line, it's hotter. Below, it's cooler than the average temperature from 1951 to 1980. Look down the bottom of the chart. The horizontal axis shows the time in years. This chart goes from 1880 through to 2013. Not all years are shown on, are listed on the axis. But if you look up here, you can see that the last data point is 2013. At, what's up with that and some other denier websites? People seem to be very interested in what's happened over the past 17 years and 10 months. That's since around 1996. This data point here is the average anomaly for 1996, and the surface has heated up quite a bit since then. 1996, you can see it was 0.32 degrees Celsius above the 51 to 1980 mean, whereas in 2013 it was 0.59 degrees above it. To see what's happened over the last several decades, if you go back to 1880, the temperature was around 0.2 degrees below the average for the 1950s, 60s and 70s. Today it's around 0.6 degrees above 1951 to 1980 average. To work out how much hotter at any point in time than it was from a previous point in time, you can count the bars. The bars measure 0.2 degrees Celsius. So if you go from here up to here, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 degrees Celsius. Another way to do it is to subtract the two data points, 0.6 minus minus 0.2 is the same as 0.6 plus 0.2, which is 0.8. Or 0.6 minus 0.4 is, it's risen 0.2 degrees over that little period of time. If you look around the early 1900s, you can see that it was 0.4 degrees below the average 51 to 80 mean there, which means that it's risen about one degree from the early 1900s through to today, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 degree. Globally, the average surface temperature fluctuated around the zero anomaly line from around 1951 to 1980. So anyone who is a child in the 1950s, 60s and 70s, for example, for them, the global surface temperature is now about 0.6 degrees hotter than it was in their childhood. These days there isn't really any new normal because the climate is changing too quickly and it's likely to continue to go up over time as long as we're adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere.